Hello and welcome back to the Helmet Head podcast. Now this is an interesting one because this podcast I want to talk about the birth of the 400cc motorcycle. Now over in India there's over 16 million bikes sold every single year. 16 million. And the thing of it is all the manufacturers want in, don't they? They all want a slice of the pie, and it's very much dominated by Royal Enfield. And rightly so, they make well-priced bikes that do the job at the right CC. But what's kind of happening at the moment in the market, and especially some of the cool stuff that's happening now, I've pulled it up on my screen already, but basically the Triumph Speed 400, the Triumph Speed 400, is Triumph's way of getting into that market. So they've, they've been manufactured in India. Now people are gonna love that and some people are not gonna like that, but the reality of it is with the cost of prices of things going up all over the place, manufacturers are looking at countries where they can get the bikes made for a lot cheaper and try to keep the quality there. And India seems to be getting that so right at the minute. So Triumph of basically having this bike made in India, the Triumph Speed 400. Now the Triumph Speed 400, just start off with the whole look of it. I I was expecting, because I sort of thought they were going down the sort of road of basically making the baby Bonneville. And I expected the you know a baby version of the Bonneville, literally that with the sort of pea shooter exhaust, really retro, really, really, really cool. But what they've actually released surprised me a little bit. Now, yes, I did see the spy photos and all that stuff. So I kind of knew it was changing, but I was a little bit gutted. But when they've now shown the Speed 400, now like I said, I've got it up on the screen now. It's, it's a good looking bike. They're clearly going for the younger market and rightly, like, rightly so, because this is very much, the 400s are very much designed, aren't they? For people that are just passing their test or people that want to downgrade, but mostly the younger market where they're just passing the test, they want to get a bike that they can afford, basically brand new and low insurance. And that 400cc class really does that. Now, Triumph have brought out two different ones. They've obviously brought out the Speed 400, what's their road going model that's, again, extremely cool. It's quite a sexy looking bike, but they don't want you to buy that. And I'll tell you the reason why afterwards. But, so what you've got with the Speed 400 is you've got three different colors, red, blue, and black. Now for me, I think the black looks the best personally, but then I do like the blue and I do like the red. So it'd be a tough decision once you're kind of in the showroom seeing them in the flesh. Now this, um, this basically is what Triumph is saying. The Speed 400 brings Triumph unmistakable stripped back custom style. I oh, see, I don't think it's, I don't, I don't think it, it, it has that Triumph custom style. I think it looks awesome, but I think they're more the retro look of the Bonnevilles, more their kind of style. But I get what they're saying, because this is obviously, obviously this is against things like the new Trident, et cetera, et cetera. So it's got that look, and it's obviously designed for, um, you know, the, I said the younger mar like younger market. Now the other side as well is, right, is they're saying it's category defining build quality, because they obviously bring in the Triumph quality from hopefully producing a cheaper bike from India. So obviously it's being produced there, but it's under their watch for light to make sure the quality is at the level it should be. And Triumph don't really make bad bikes, do they? They, they make really good quality, sort of made and feeling bikes. So as I said, India seem to be stepping up their game massively in their build quality. So it'd be interesting, I just, I'd love to have a ride on one of these. Now, a couple of really cool things, and this is what I think brings the Triumph uh, Speed 400 right up to the A game in the 400 market, because its horsepower is 39.5, and compared to quite a few of the sort of equivalents, that's got quite a decent amount of pop to it. Now, the next thing of it is, it comes with a six speed box, and its seat height is 790 millimeters. Now, that is perfect for somebody who's not the tallest in the world. Um, it's quite a lowish bike, really, so you should be able to get both feet on the floor, no problem at all for most people. So it also comes with a 13 litre fuel tank, which means it should get incredible fuel economy because I was expecting it to be more like 11, smaller being a smaller bike, 13 litres, it should be really good. And its weight is 170 kilograms. So again, quite a light, chuckable bike, what you'd expect from a 400cc bike. And 
the thing of it is they've brought this out and this is going to be very much their road going base model this is going to be at the cheaper price but they don't want you to buy this what they want you to buy is the scrambler version which basically the same bike but with bigger wheels slightly better suspension a nicer looking exhaust it's got the uh, sort of the rubber pads on on the tank as well it looks just that little bit more cooler now Here's the thing I think about the Speed 400, and we'll stick to the Speed 400 on this podcast. Price point. Now, bear with me where I talk about price point because it's quite important because they're not the only ones that are going for the market. Now, if you don't know, Harley Davidson are going for the same market and they have released in India the X440, right? But it's a lot lower horsepower. It's not got the same oomph where the speed, they're trying to make it a sporty kind of feeling beast, something that the youngsters want to get on and go, you know, zipping off on. Where the Harley have still gone for that kind of, it looks cool. The Harley, by the way, I still think it looks like an awesome bike and it's only available in India. What's the interesting point? It's not here in the UK or anywhere else. What I think is a little bit of a shame if it was for the right price point, especially what they're selling it for in India. But anyway, that's 27 horsepower. It's not enough. I want to, it, that's how I feel about that. For a 400cc, 27 horsepower isn't enough. But the fuel range on the Harley Davidson will do 270 miles to a tank. That's what they're boasting, 270 miles to a tank. So if you've not got loads of money and you want something that's going to go really far and you want that style, that Harley Davidson name, that's, that's proper epic. So let's go back to the Triumph Speed 400, right? This is the key thing for me. Now, here in the UK, Prices are shooting. Prices of bikes and prices of parts and everything at the moment are going absolutely nuts as we speak. Now, if you look at this bike again, it's got stunning looks. It'll have ABS. It's got, you know, it's it's a very nice looking bike. Enough to say, this is the price point that I want. I think it should come in at five grand. Now, it's more than, for instance, a Himalayan and most of the Royal Enfields in a similar category that people will be looking at. But five grand is for a youngster, a potential bike that they can afford because a lot of them, they don't pay mortgages and have all the bills like us older people have is what I'm trying to say. And they're more likely to have that kind of money to buy their new bike and get it insured. That's what price I'd love to see it come in at. Five grand, I think it would be a massive, huge, huge seller. But I think this is the big thing. I think they're going to come in at six i think it's going to come at six grand um and that's what i'm predicting and i think even at six it's a good price bike but i think it's going to be then slightly starting to reach out of people's affordability and where royal enfield will keep that market because they all want the injured market they want that 16 million people buying bikes to this to be the hot bike to have and again royal enfield have kept that in india for so much so india's really dominating this because that is like that's perfect cc for the country now harley davidson recognize it triumph recognize it many other brands recognize it as well but these are going to be the two competitors i think in this market over in india but the triumph is going to be available here in the uk i just hope they get that price point right it looks absolutely absolutely cool it looks gorgeous but personally for me, I would be going for the proper classic T100 Bonneville if I was going to be buying a bike, even if it was my first bike, because I just think it oozes retro classic gorgeousness. But it'd be an interesting one. And if I was going to buy between the Speed 400 and obviously the Scrambler, the Scrambler's got that bit better look. So if the price is 500 quid between it, I'd definitely be going for the Scrambler. Now, this Speed comes with 25 dedicated accessories. It's got a TR series engine, it's got 37.5 peak, uh, peak torque, and obviously it's a 398cc engine. It's just, yeah, it's a cool looking bike. Yeah, impressive stuff. Now, talking about the main helmet head channel, like I always do, just a little bit of news on that. I've just finished an incredible fun review that's going to be completely different. And basically, I go on a fit, fitness ride on an e-bike that's been sent to me. Now, it's a motorcycle channel over on the Helmet Head channel. And we're riding the world. And we're doing loads of kit reviews. And it is crazily busy. I am proper exhausted at the minute because I'm having to hit deadline after deadline for the reviews to come out on the channel on the times that I agree. I'm knackered. But I try and take an e-bike... <laughs> On a seven mile ride and i've not ridden uh, i've not ridden a push bike and worn a leotard in many 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 years so if you're interested in seeing a completely different review coming up and you're new to this go and check out the main helmet head channel links down in the description but mostly my fun and my fun sort of dream about that channel is that i'm riding the world 
on a little Honda monkey bike and it's worth going over just to see me do that because we're about to take that into Gibraltar on the channel and then from Gibraltar into Africa and Africa's my big one. that's me getting out of Europe for a bit and and taking on some of the countries and some of the world that's going to be nuts and I want to take that to the, to the Sahara Desert and I want to ride that little monkey at least as far as I can into the sand before I get stuck and see what happens and I've got no currently no way of any safety devices because I won't have mobile data or any of that everything I will download Google Maps before I go it's just it's all going to go crazy wrong but it's going to be good it's going to be funny anyway I'll see you here on the next podcast hope you've enjoyed that if you have please do me a favor hit the thumbs up please subscribe to the channel as well it will really help me out the bigger we can build this channel the more people that see it and if you really loved it share it because that will absolutely make me smile anyway I'll see you in the next one bye bye for now